of His Excellency, the Governor of Lagos State, ably represented by the Deputy Governor, Dr. Bahemi Amzat, who just left a few moments ago. I'm so grateful. I've been on Governor's matter for a week now. Seb Mariah, if I can't come, the Deputy will come. I'm so grateful, His Excellency, for coming here. I'm grateful to my Chief Launcher, Chief Razak Okoya, who couldn't be here, but graciously sent his brother, Alaji Tajuddin Okoya, thank you so much, sir, for coming. I appreciate your presence. I don't take it for granted at all. Thank you, Usman, also for being here to read Daddy's speech. Thank you very much. To all my family in the Lagos State Government, if I start calling now, I won't be able to finish. But everybody that has come from um, LCDA, all the various um, MDAs, all the various parastatals in Lagos State Government, thank you so much for being here. I've worked with some of you. We work close, and many of you have been on our show. I am so grateful that you took our time to be here. And to my pastors in the building, Pastor Bayo Lubemi and his wife, Pastor Olowoyo and his wife, Pastor Itwa Igodalo, thank you so much for being here. I mean, it was intentional for you to be here. I really, really i am grateful for you. Being there. And I know Brown will come. I think my brother is doing votes of thanks generally, so he will still thank everybody. But the reason why I had to make my remarks is because I wanted to use this opportunity to tell you why this book was important to me. You know, lots of queens have gone ahead of me. Queens like Honorable Abika Dabiri, queens like uh, Adeswa Onyedukwe, queens like Fumi Yonda, lots of queens have gone ahead of me. And with myself and the ladies, I was just right behind them, also walking in their footprints. But the reason why this book was important, as my husband said in the opening remark, I practically stripped myself. You will hear about my upbringing. Many do not know the kind of struggles I went through as a young child. You will hear about my sojourn when I traveled to the US. You will hear about my car accident when God saved my life. When I couldn't walk for 10 months. I have a hole here, I have a hole here, I have a, I have a full strip here. I have 12 inch rod on my right thigh, I have two screws on my, my knee, and I have two screws on my, my ankle. I have a skull fracture from here all the way to the middle of my head. I had two big scars in the sides here. I had lungs, I, I collapsed, I was on coma for days. It took me months for therapy. And I was asking God, please let me walk again. Let me walk again, just let me walk again. I didn't even believe I could walk. When I now finally walked, and I had this big scar on my face, I said, Father, okay, now I've started walking, but this scar now, I can't be going around with two colors, please. You know, let me remove a really big black scar on my face. It took a long time for that scar to go, but eventually it did. But you see, that was a process. Then I came back to Nigeria, getting a job was crazy. And eventually God helped me to the point where I traveled to the US and I got arrested. I slept in jail, it's in the book, you get the details. I was in jail. I came back and when I called my former boss, Tony Subara, you know, I was depressed for about a month. After that thing happened, I came back to Nigeria. And I was deported. I was just crying. And one of the first people, the only people that I knew was me, my husband, and my mother. Nobody knew what was happening. And the only person, the first thing I called was my former boss, Tony Subara. And you think I called him, the very first thing I said, I now rojoed everything from start to finish, what happened? And his only response, congratulations, Mariah. You're going to be great. This only happens to people who are going to be great. And I never never forgot that sentence that sentence and i held on to that that father that greatness you allowed me to go through these pains i want to see it and then we went to tvc had my own challenges in tvc i will not lie now we have amazing uh, board members and um, management at tvc but there was a time of thunder and brimstone those of us in tvc we know there was a season of hard thunder and brimstone that we had to go through I went through the process. And you see, these stories are important because many Nigerians 
refuse to share their stories. We all become 10 steps to become rich, 10 unicorns to become a leader, 5 steps, forgetting that it's your unique stories that you went through that people will be inspired by. Not the excellence of, oh, it's 5 steps to this, it's 2 steps to that. Those are good stories, but that thing God took you through from start to where you are is the uniqueness of what he's trying to achieve and wants you because Nigerian young people need role models. We need your role models who are willing to speak up, tell us what happened, how you fell, how you triumphed, how you were cheated, how you robbed, how you became a thief, thief yourself. If you're a politician, yes, I was a thief, oh, but now I have reason. Tell us the truth. Tell us how you went. We want to learn from your mistakes. And that's what this book does. It strips me off of everything. There's nothing else you can say. But it's on the way. So the reason why, that's my single thing I would like you to leave this place with. To know that, let us begin. For those of you who are going to be writing books after this, please know your real stories is what Nigerian young people need. Your real experiences is what we need to hear. So we can learn from it and they can truly know the depth of the experience God has given pastors through. With that, I'm gonna thank everybody for being here. The party is just about to start. Um, when I was worried about people coming or not coming, God said, Mariah, it's not about who is there or who is not there. It's about my glory. Just relax and enjoy your day. And that's the same thing I want you to do. Enjoy and relax. I'm going to go a break. I'm gonna go and change my clothes now. When I come back, I'm going to be dancing inside and I'd like you all to dance inside with me. I'm going to be celebrating and thanking God for an amazing 10 years. And I did not do it alone. I did it with other ladies of your view. Talk by Marco Dige, Mariam Longe, Obia Julugo, Nicola Pokuti, Nima Akasha Zibiri, and other other ladies, the past and present ladies. They're all part of that show, and I'm grateful to God. Thank you so much for being here this evening. And for those of you that have launched, thank you for your support. Those of you who are still going to launch with me, thank you very much for your support. God bless you all. Um, I think it's important for me to report Mr. Brown, because uh, it's nice that we're all laughing, but somebody must report Mr. Brown. So this is why I thought it was important to share this story. So Brown... Um, I was writing my book, as his friends mentioned, and I kept, because he's a lawyer, I kept telling him, Brown, please, read this book for me. He said, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, I bet, you know that it's your response, I bet, I bet, I bet, he never read it. I kept begging him, help me, you know that I finish finished the book. I said, Brown, read this book, he didn't answer me. So I called his friend, Mr. Gabriel and Harry, really, I called my brother, Nick Paul, my brother, Shane, he, he read the book for me. But Brown still didn't read it. And they told me he was fine. And I went to print a thousand copies. I went ahead. Speak, my brother, my husband has not read, never read the book. I was supposed to do this, this uh, launching in um, April because that was where the launch was supposed to be, but I had to move it down to for various factors. So, sometime in May, towards this launch, that we started the preparation, I think we started the preparation early in May. My husband said, by the time Brown finished that book, he tore it to pieces. Like, can't for grammatical error come better than Plenty grammatical errors and so many stories that he felt that you know there are better ways of telling that story. And he tore the book to pieces. Of course I was angry. I said after I printed one thousand of the hotel, forget it. He said, Well, I'll pay for it. You cannot go out with that book. That, this, this one, it is. You cannot go outside because you have to present only that which is excellent. And because of that, I must acknowledge and thank Mr. Brown. Though he, I was angry that I had to destroy 1,000 books, but Brown came out and he paid for another 1,000 books himself. After reprinting and editing it, I have to acknowledge Mr. Brown. So I'm not reporting him. I'm actually asking him to tell me thank you. Now, please come forward as I thank you for providing for this, um, I'm grateful that you edited the book properly and what is out is exactly what you are proud of to have. Thank you, Brown, for being such a supporting husband. Um, and um, he's been a really serious backbone to 